Hi, my name is Greg Ice Steve, Born to Fish Media Pro Staff. I'm here with Dave Kuzer, a tournament director for the Colorado Kayak Fishing Club. Today we're going to be talking about the setup on a native kayak here. Dave, how you doing today? Doing well. Good. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Tell us a little bit about how you got your uh, kayak set up here and uh, tell us a little bit about why you went from fishing the walleye circuit to this kayak tournament. Well, I'll start with your second question first. Um, went to the kayak club because, or actually I went to the kayak circuit um, because I was, I was tired of the, the long hauls to fish the walleye club, uh, the overnight stays, you know, the, the, the pre-fishing and, and the cost and the maintenance. And, and a kayak is a lot easier. I can throw this in the back of my pickup or tournaments or one day tournaments. So it just, it's easier, um, fun, and it's a new, new adventure. So I was looking for something new to do. As far as my kayak and how it's set up right now, um, this is how I typically troll when I'm trolling for uh, walleye, for trout, for kokanee, any type of a fish that you would normally troll for. So one of the things that I do is I use the ram tubes as opposed to the rod holders that allow the butt of the rod to stick into the kayak. These keep the rods out of the kayak. And you do have to crank down on these quite a bit, but um, they are manageable. Um, I think the, the only other primary difference is how I set up the back of my kayak in that I've got some ram tubes back there as well that hold additional rods, as you can see here. So talking about kayaking and the setup that I use when I'm, when I'm trolling and fishing in general, um, obviously being on Lowrance Pro Staff, I'm going to have a Lowrance. I, I have an Elite 7 Chirp. Um, lets me know exactly at what depth the kokanee are holding and if you adjust the sensitivity you can find the thermocline very easy. Um, I've found that this to be one of the, the critical tools not only in kokanee, lake or in walleye fishing but in all fishing in general. Any fish that's below the boat with a chirp system you're definitely going to be able to see them, isolate them and be able to fish to them. Um, I usually have a GoPro somewhere on the boat um, I, uh, as far as the, the propulsion system for the native kayaks, um, the propel drive is the preferred method for me. Um, it is the first kayak with reverse, so you can pedal this just like a bike and you can back up. Uh, you can go forwards. Even while standing, I can take my hand as I'm bass fishing and, and move this forward and back to get off of the bank, or get closer to the bank for that matter. Um, we talked about the ram tubes that I have, um, a few little devices that everybody keeps in their boat, but in a kayak you want to tie these down so they don't end up in the bottom of the lake. So continue our discussion about how a kayak is set up for trolling. One of the most important things, especially for kokanee and trout that are jumping a lot and trying to get off is a small net. Uh, you can't have a full-size net on a kayak, it's just unwieldy, and it does catch a lot of wind. Again, this item is tethered in the event you do dump your kayak, which I've never done. Um, from there, the .1 GPS system from, from Lowrance is critical. Uh, kayakers don't have a whole lot of forward speed, and if you've ever seen on a Lowrance system how your position jumps around a lot, this tends to take care of that. So it's, it's got a magnetic compass in it and it also tells me exactly which way I need to go to get back on those fish when I'm reeling in a fish and, and unhooking it and letting it go or, or what have you. So I have a lot of people ask me, when on the kayak, how do I steer? Where are my paddles? And jokingly, I often pull out my assault paddle and tell them this is my paddle and they look at me like I'm crazy. But to answer the question of that person, how do I steer, uh, Native Propel has a steering device right here on the side. And as you can see back there, it does turn the kayak when you're moving forward or moving backwards. And that's another nice thing about the backup feature. You can back this up just like a car, um, so counter steer with each turn. As far as rods I use when I troll, um, I, I tend to use a six, six and a half, maybe seven foot bait casting rod. And the reason I chose a bait casting rod is because the longer typical boat trolling rods, the eight footer or the 12 footer, are going to be way too long in a kayak. 
imagine yourself trying to take an eight foot rod and bend it back and catch the line and un release your offshore board as well as deal with your fish. It gets difficult. So a bait casting rod in about a six to seven foot range, medium, medium heavy with a fast tip is more than adequate to not only handle lead core, but to handle uh, braided lines and, and monos or whatever you might troll with.